Hello everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Intel 2018 Mac Mini and see if this particular Mac is still worth buying in 2024. Now, this was one of the last Intel Macs Apple made for their Mac Mini series. And the thing I'll tell you was that this was a different type of Mac than the previous Macs Apple made. And the reason why I like this Mac a lot is because for the most part with this particular device, there wasn't really too much to hate on here. And I like the design language of this particular Mac, but shortly after when this thing came out, we basically got the next successor of this thing, which was basically, you know, the M1 models. And since then, it didn't really make a lot of sense to go ahead and basically buy some of these like Intel Macs, if I'm being honest. So we'll talk about, you know, we'll talk about that throughout this whole entire video. We'll basically see what's up, what's good, what's not, everything in between. But I will tell you, if you want to pick up, you know, some of these Macs that I would probably recommend buying this year, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same exact time. Now, starting off with the outside of the Intel Mac Mini from 2018, you can see that it looks like almost any other Mac that you would basically buy from Apple. It still kind of looks like the, you know, Mac Minis that we have at this point. So the first thing you have to keep in mind is that this one did come out in a gray model, which I thought looked really nice. You know, having a gray Mac is still very, very nice in this day and age. The thing you're going to have to keep in mind here though, for the most part, is that with these types of Macs, you are basically getting a Mac that is, you know, having that Intel chip, but this was almost like an Intel Mac mini pro in a way, because this essentially was giving you a little bit more feature set than like a standard Mac mini that you were getting at that time. So, you know, you were getting some more ports and other things like that across the board, but that was just kind of what was going on at that moment. Beyond that though, definitely with the Intel Mac mini still looks almost the same thing. It's just a little bit bigger than the current Macs. Now, on top of that, on the front side, you weren't really getting anything super crazy. You were just getting like an LED light, which still looked nice. You know, having an LED light right there is still very, very good. On the sides, not much, but on the back side, this is where things were getting a little bit more interesting. So on these particular Macs, on the Intel Mac mini, you were getting four Thunderbolt 3 ports. So you were getting four Thunderbolt 3 ports, USB-C ports that you can go and plug into monitors and different Thunderbolt accessories. Very, very nice thing to have. But then you were also getting two USB-A ports. So this was another very cool thing because you were getting those many ports, you know, you're getting those many, you know, USB-C ports and you're also getting those many USB-A ports as well. Now the current M2 Pro model has those types of, you know, USB Type-C ports, like the amount, but the standard M2 model does not have that. So that was kind of a, you know, different thing that you were kind of experiencing there. And personally for me, like if I'm sitting here and if I'm getting some more features or whatever, like I like the fact that my older Intel model has that type of cap you know, capability because it's a very, very cool thing. You're getting HDMI ports on the Intel Mac mini, and then you're also getting that gigabit ethernet and the 10, 10 gigabit ethernet if you really wanted it. But I thought it was really cool that we were getting that type of capability in the starting with because it was a super cool thing. And I really, really appreciated Apple for kind of giving us that type of capability at that time. Was it perfect? No, there was a lots of like little annoyances that, you know, kind of came with this particular Mac. But I really appreciated the fact that this particular Mac gave us those, you know, the amount of Thunderbolt ports that it actually gave us. So this in and of itself was a super, super cool thing. Now, one other thing to keep in mind, and that kind of irked me a little bit with these particular Macs, not actually with the Intel Mac, but it irked me with the M, model, the M models, was that with the M model Macs, you were basically getting a Mac that basically like, you know, you couldn't connect to multiple desktop monitors. And that was something that really bothered me. I love having multiple desktops and having multiple displays. And Apple basically went through on the M models for uh, several models of them and only allowed us to connect to one desktop monitor. There were some workarounds here and there, but for the most part, there weren't really too many workarounds. And that was something that was very annoying. With the other, with this Intel Mac mini, you could go and connect it to multiple different dis you know, displays. And that was something that was very cool. And like I said before, that was something that was kind of annoying. And you know, with the, with the M models, with these ones, much, much better in my personal opinion. So when it comes down to the exterior, it definitely gets a thumbs up for me. And I really, really appreciate the particular, you know, the capability we have behind this, you know, the, the Mac mini and the exterior and the ports as well. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. Now, these Mac minis are still supported with software. So that's something that's really cool, but they're just not available in the brand new market. So when that kind of happens, Apple usually won't really continue supporting them for a crazy amount of time. But the most interesting thing here is that these are the Intel Macs. We know for you know the time being now that Apple is basically going to go through and really focus in on their M models. They are going to go in and try to grow their M model chipsets as much as they can. And I think they're going to license these chipsets out at some point to other manufacturers. I guess we'll see what happens, but definitely for sure, Apple is going to really kind of focus in and try to create their M models, you know, to be substantially better than their Intel ones. So because of that, with an Intel, you know, Mac, I don't know how much longer Apple's going to go through 
and basically support this thing. I could be wrong. This thing could be supported for like another day or two. This thing could be supported for like another like 10 years. But for the most part, the way Apple's kind of been doing it, they're really not going to support it for a crazy amount of time. So just kind of keep that in mind. But for the time being, this thing is still supported. So you don't have that much to kind of worry about there, I would say, from like that perspective either. Now, when it does come down to the performance, like I said before, these Macs, Apple did a pretty good job at the performance behind it. So you can get up to an Intel Core i7 processor inside of this Mac, which is very impressive. You can get up to six core CPUs. You can get, you know, that Intel 630 GPU inside of it, up to 64 gigabytes of RAM and up to two terabytes of storage. Now, when compared, like when you compare this thing to the current M2 or M2 Pro Mac Mini, there's actually still some advantages for the Intel Mac Mini. So for one, you know, the M models you know, are giving you way better, you know, CPU and GPUs in my personal opinion, but you can get more RAM inside of the Intel Mac Mini. So with the Intel Mac Mini 64 gigs of RAM, with the M2 or M2 Pro model of the Mac Minis, you can get 32 gigabytes of RAM. <clears throat> so you're already kind of getting a better performing, you know, Mac inside of the, you know, inside of the Intel Mac Mini in some ways than the current M model, you know, Mac Mini. Again, it's not that big of a deal. RAM doesn't mean every, you know, everything. And you could probably make the argument that because the M chipsets are so much more optimized, you probably don't need as much RAM on inside of those Macs that you need on this one. So again, not the biggest deal in the world, but it is, again, one of those things to kind of keep in mind here. And I look at these particular Macs and I'm actually very, very impressed even with the Intel Mac Mini of how good of a job this thing has been holding up for the last several years. So from that side, like I do think like if you're going to go through and just use a Mac on an everyday basis, I think you're going to have a pretty good time with this particular Mac, you know, from a performance perspective. It can realistically speaking handle probably most things that you throw at it. And with that RAM increase, it's a very, very nice thing. Now, if you're getting the baseline Mac, it might be a little bit of a different story, meaning that you might be getting a Mac that may not be the best performing Mac of all time, especially when compared to today's standards, you know, but my only concern even beyond that would just be the software. You know, like, is this Mac going to be supported for, you know, several more years or like one more year? I'm not really too sure. It's definitely not going to be just one year. I think it's going to be multiple years on top of that. But again, we really don't know. And we don't, we can't really make the assumption of how much longer a particular Mac is going to last when it comes down to it. So what I will definitely tell you, and it kind of solved this whole entire video, what I'll tell you, I think the Intel Mac mini is still worth buying for a lot of people. I don't know if it's the best Mac of all time, but if you're currently looking for a good cheap budget Mac, I don't think it's a bad option. But with that being said, you are much better off purchasing an M model Mac, probably for a vast majority of people out there. It just doesn't really make too much sense to go and buy something like a, you know, Intel Mac mini anymore. If you're trying to go through and get a Mac that's still going to be supported for several more years. So if you're wanting a Mac that's going to be giving you a longer experience and longer software, like I said, it might make more sense to go and buy something that's still going to be sticking around for the time being. So that's why I say buying some like one of the M model Macs might be better for the average person. So kind of keep that in mind. But regardless of that, I think this was still a great Mac when it came out. I just don't know if it's worth buying right now, but you know, the choice is yours as of this point. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.